What's up everyone? Capital Gains here and we are in the first week of March and it is the last month of the quarter and as you can see right here our portfolio is doing quite well. We are almost at $12,000. Be really cool if we hit that in March. Uh, it'd be a lot faster than how we got from 10 to 11,000. Before we get into the dividend payments that I have received this week, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button so that I can keep making content for you guys. <clears throat> and if there's anything you want to see, comment in the video and I will try and make a video about it. I am thinking about making a video about dividend stocks and growth stocks and how they work. So if you're interested in that, please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll get that out to you. But now, let us get into the gains. So as you can see, the S&P 500 dividend payment I recorded on last week and I am showing right here that it is reinvested. I received 0.04174 shares at an average price of $39.77. On March 2nd, because I owned 5.132009 shares of Wells Fargo on February 4th, I received a dividend payment of 51 cents, which was then reinvested for 0.013717 shares at an average price for $37.18. The Vanguard Total Bond Market ETF, because I owned 5.079069 shares on March 1st, I received a dividend payment of 65 cents. And that was reinvested on the 5th, so I received 0.007647 shares at an average price of $85. And then because I owned 3.029676 shares of Starbucks on February 17th, I received a dividend payment of $1.36, which was then reinvested so for 0.012999 shares at an average price of $104.62. And the last dividend payment I received was from Pfizer. And since I owned 10.306432 shares on January 28th, I received a dividend payment of $4.02, which was then reinvested for 0 0.116691 shares at an average price of $34.45. If you are interested in setting up your own portfolio, my link for Robinhood will be here, and it will also be in the description below. All you have to do is click it. It will send you to the Robinhood app or site. You sign up link your bank account and it will give you a free stock and what that means is that you'll get a stock for no money and if it goes up or down you will still be in the green because you didn't put any money into it so it will be a hundred percent profit no matter what happens with the stock market and here is my dividend sheet it is the first week of the third month which means it is the last month in the quarter and because it is the last month of the quarter, at the end of this month, we will see what our total was for the first quarter of this year. Really hoping that we can get it to 40. 50 would be awesome, but we'll have to see what March dividend payments will be. You can see that February did a lot of the heavy lifting for our dividend payments so far. Hopefully March will be close to it or even more than uh, what we received in February. January didn't do all that much, but you know, a little bit of dividend payments in the short term will grow long term and end up making me more money, and that's what I want to see. So for Wells Fargo, made 0 0.51. BND was 65 cents. Starbucks was a dollar. 36 and Pfizer was four dollars and two cents so we can see that after this first week we are coming real close to what we made in January uh, next week we should definitely pass that we are also really close to forty dollars in the first quarter 
which means we just have to make $10 in the next three weeks, and then we will have $50 for the first quarter, and that is on track to where I think we should be for what for the size of my portfolio. If you are interested in investing but don't want to do your own research, you just kind of want to let it build up passively, I will have a link for Acorns. What that does is that every transaction you do, when it is connected to your bank account, it will round up the transaction to the nearest dollar, and then the change that it had rounded up to, it will take and invest for you so that you don't have to research what stocks it goes into. You can sit back and it'll do it for you. So if you buy something that's $1, it will automatically round it up to $2. It will take that $1, put it in a portfolio for you, and then put, put it, it in, in growth stocks or dividend stocks, whatever you kind of set it up to be, and you can just sit back and watch your portfolio grow without you having to do anything. I will also have a link to Yoda Savings. What that is, is a savings account that gives you lottery tickets depending on how much money you have in there. So if you have $25, it will give you a ticket. $50, it will give you two tickets every single week forever. Um, and what this does is it encourages you to save by putting money in there. Every $25 you have in there, it will give you a ticket every single week. If the lottery number matches anything on your ticket, you could get anywhere between 10 cents for one match, or if you match all of them, you could get a million dollars. That'll be in the description. You just have to sign up, link your bank account, and put $25 in, and you will get a ticket for however long you decide to have the app. And I will also have a link below to Redbubble where you can check out my Redbubble account. The Capital Gains logo is there. You can pick that up. There's also other artwork that is there that you can look at. Really cool artwork, so if you are interested, take a look at that. This was a good week. Hopefully next week we'll have higher dividend counts that I can show you guys. But until then, I will see you all later.